Hey everybody, Ace Tyler here, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. In the last episode, we cleared the Olympus Coliseum for now, which of course will be, like I said, we'll be going back to a lot of times, so it's just one of our many visits there. In this episode, uh, before we head over to our next world, you can see that I'm uh, back over in Wonderland. And the reason for that is because uh, now that we have the uh, Thunder Spell, uh, we can actually go ahead and uh, get a couple things that we uh, didn't get beforehand. And uh, there's actually uh, one thing that we can activate the, um, the Thunder Spell for, because there's a little something for us. Which, you know, I guess is basically the whole thing with, uh, with you know, with um, some uh, stuff and whatnot to, uh, to collect that we didn't get. You know, there's going to be a lot of backtracking involved, and once we get some uh, new abilities and whatnot, then we actually just, uh, you know... Go back and get some stuff because uh, that's uh, pretty much another thing. What this uh, what this let's play is gonna entail is uh, you know a bit of backtracking. So yeah, uh, so now that we're back in Wonderland, uh, there's these um, there's these little hanging flowers that we see right here, and then uh, this is actually what happens if you use the uh, thunder magic on them. Since we uh, got that in the um, I think about a couple of episodes ago, I would say. Use that, and they'll light up, and then we get this uh, chest right here containing the uh, thun uh, Thundara gummy. I, I think it was, I think it was a Thundara, or was, a, or was it a Thundaga? Because uh, spoiler warning, folks. Um, the uh, th those are actually the name of the uh, spell upgrades. Right, for instance, like with the uh, Thunder Magic, then um, it upgrades to uh, Thundara, and then to the to the um, Thundaga. But um, but right now we can't really get those because right now we just have the uh, Thunder spell. And also, uh, I was trying to, uh, I was trying to hit this tree, but, um, but apparently, uh, they, they, there's actually ways to do this first, is that you actually have to, uh, first uh, use that reaction command to, uh, take that, um, that, um, acorn. I think, I think it's an acorn. Oh, uh, yeah, you have to take the acorn out first, and then you uh, hit the tree. I don't know why they designed it like that, because, um, because I always thought that you can just, uh, hit the tree anytime to, to make it spin around, but... No, apparently the game wants you to uh, to whack the whack the acorn off first. And I guess probably because otherwise, um, the, the, otherwise you probably wouldn't have access to be able to uh, shrink them back down to um, to a sword's normal size. That might be the reason, but yeah, that's that's just what I'm uh, assuming at the moment. So um, I guess I'm also using this opportunity to uh, actually uh, grind for uh, more experience after uh, getting much more heartless. Because in the next world, I mean. I would I wouldn't say it's uh, it would be difficult, but although I actually did say that the boss is extremely difficult, yeah, the, the boss of the next one we're going to be going to is very tough, and it's also another one of those uh, beginner's difficulty spikes. Well, maybe we're not so much a beginner right now because uh, well we've already uh, we we already went through a couple of worlds. We're we're about to get to our third one after we uh, get this uh, section uh, with uh, having to um, do a bit or do a bit of a backtracking here. And so, uh, previously, we went into the, this room, or one of the, uh, sections of the Bizarre Room, and, uh, we saw beforehand that, um, that you see this painting here, uh, the first time we ever saw it, um, there was, uh, nothing on it, but after we lit up those, uh, two, uh, candles there, then, uh, there's actually, uh, some, uh, some drawings in there, or some, uh, some art that appeared in that, um, in that portrait, and so, uh, well, actually, yeah, first I'll go ahead and, uh, kill some more I'm, I'm gonna need the experience here, folks, so, uh, bear with me on this one. Especially because, well, I, I for one, am definitely gonna need it. Because God forbid if I have to just uh, do so many attempts at that one, at that one boss at the, um, the next level. And yes, I'm, I actually emphasize that one boss because uh, I guess that's what TV tropes actually uh, call it there. I'll well just call it like that anyway. Uh, as soon as I kill it, right, uh, there we go. Yes, kill it right knocked her there. All right, so with this, uh, with this painting activated, we'll just uh, step right into it here. It says loads force. Oh yeah, we're going right into the painting. Yes, uh, just like in Super Mario 64, we're going to uh, we're going back in there. And so there's another section of the Lotus Forest. So we uh, use the uh, Thunder Magic, open this one up here, and we got some more Dalmatians. So yeah, that's basically like the whole gist of uh, having to um, have you know revisiting worlds, like doing all the backtracking, just uh, having to uh, get these um, Dalmatians, and also the trainees that we didn't get. Well, once we get some new uh, training powers. So that's done. So I cut back over to uh, Traverse Town, and the reason for that, though, is because um, there's another uh, thing you can do. If you uh, use the uh, blizzard on all these uh, candles, uh, that's how you can actually uh, activate this uh, chest here. Because beforehand, we can never really um, activate it because it's like completely locked. But once you do that there, then you'll be able to open up this chest, and then we have the defense up. And so we'll go in and get that sword. So yeah, like I said, folks, uh, make sure that uh, like for any of these uh, stat boosts or stat enhancers you get, Always, uh, always make sure you pick Sora for this one. Don't, do not bother with uh, Donald, Goofy, or any of the other party members that we'll probably uh, see more and talk about. 
But yeah, once you get those um, those stat enhancers, you always want to get them to Sora. Nobody else, because you know, mainly because you know those uh, party members that wouldn't really uh, do all that much, and you know, you know Sora being the main character you play as, and the one that um, the one that's you know definitely the most important. Well, in, in terms of gameplay, at least, I mean, not just for story, but in terms of gameplay, uh, you always want to get those to Sora. Because, you know, trust me on this one, you will need those. Especially for later. Well, I mean, not, not just with that, though, but, like, this would definitely apply to all other uh, Kingdom Hearts games. And even the ones that don't have Sora as a playable character. Uh, like, you know, Birth by Sleep, for instance. Then, uh, th that's when you're gonna get those characters. But then again, though, they, um, they're just by themselves. But, but I stress more on the, uh, the main line, or the, uh, the number of titles of the Kingdom Hearts games. Just to get those to Sora. And so, now all that's done and over with, so what do you say we go ahead and uh, visit the uh, the next world? After we go through this long, boring section of uh, the gummy ship, and uh, I would say this, this is the long the long path here, because I think if you uh, take this path uh, from, um, come from uh, Wonderland, then it might not take as long, but I don't really know, I've never really taken it, so I have no knowledge for that. So I'm actually taking this uh, path to come from uh, Olympus Coliseum. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, this is where, uh, yeah, well, I, I guess same as all the other ones, but yeah, we'll have to just sit through this, uh, very bland, boring, and this, uh, leashed off Star Fox ripoff here. Ugh. I mean, you know, I, I mean, as much as I love this game, I, 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 was, I was just have to say that these, uh, gummy sections, they really do tend to drag. Because, you know, especially with, uh, all you do is uh, you just, uh, shoot, or just go through those and then, I guess, uh, shoot those, uh, Heartless ships. But, yeah, that's all there is to it. It's just, it's so boring. It, it just drags. And it's like, ah, oh, come on, I just want to get, I want to get to the next world already. Um, I will say that, uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 actually did do their, uh, gummy sections better because, um, because, like, the way they're structured and the way, uh, uh like, like, the, the way, the, the way they're built up, uh, not only are they fast paced, but I feel like that they're actually a little more fun. Like they actually do feel more like uh, Star Fox, and uh, they actually—I um, don't know—they they actually uh, gave it a little more, uh, a little more kind of a thrill, kind of a thing. So I would say that the—I um, would say that the gummy sections in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 are a lot more. I, I would say better because of—I uh, don't know—I I guess because uh, of how, how much more exciting it gets. So I mean, it's not really as boring. Um, I'm not sure what much to say about the, uh, gummy sections in Kingdom Hearts 3, because, well, I mean, they're mainly, like, like, they actually gave it the, uh, exploration bit for, um, in, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 for those, uh, gummy sections, because, like, you're basically just, uh, exploring a gummy space, and, you know, you're, you, you get the, uh, Heartless combat as well, or just the, uh, gummy shit combat when you, um, come across the, uh, the Heartless, and then, and then basically you just, um, just uh, find the next world there, so, I mean... You know, I guess, uh, that one kind of also drags a little bit, but, you know, I guess it's, uh, I, I think it's mainly because, uh, it just has more of the, uh, exploration aspect. Since, you know, that's what Kingdom Hearts 3 is, uh, kind of for anyway, because, like, you know, it does at least have more emphasis on, um, exploration is, and, and, and also with, the uh, combat combined. Alright, so this next world, uh, oh, that's another one we know. Hey, Donald, maybe King Mickey's down there. So, yeah, they're, they're, they're saying that, like, um... Like, apparently, a Mickey might be down there, and, uh, now Donald doesn't want to go over there in this, uh, Packwater place. And so, Sora thinks that, uh, Riku and Kairi might be, uh, down there, so, uh, we're gonna want to check it out. I mean, we're, we're coming across there anyway. Ain't no, yeah, on an important mission. Well, fuck you, Donald, because, you know, j just so, in case you're not aware, the worlds are already in danger of being, uh, of being destroyed by the Heartless, because they're after the world's heart, and yeah, I'm not saying this right now, the, the worlds actually do have a heart. So, we're gonna have to land, and, you know, in case there's any threat arising, you know, if, if Sora wants to see his friends, and there might be a threat because of the Heartless, we're gonna want to go to this world, but you want to leave this world behind and leave them for dead? Fuck you, Donald. Whoa! Oh, my head. Donald? Goofy? Well, first, uh, first time going to this world, and now we have this, and now we have boss. So, 
So this here is uh, Sabor the Leopard. And uh, Sabor will, uh, well, once she does, she, uh, she launches at you, and, well, as for all other Leopards do. So you want to avoid her attacks, and uh, just, uh, well, that's all you do. She does hit very hard, though, but yeah, just uh, give her enough uh, attacks, and there you go. Literally. Sabor. Danger. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, what is this place? This place, this place. Okay. Where did the others go? Look, I got separated from my friends. Have you seen them? Mm hmm? Friends. Friends. Right! My friends! There's two of them. The loud one is Donna. Uh huh? You know what? Never mind. I'm looking for my friends Riku and Kairi. Look for Riku. Friends. Right. Kairi. Friends. Uh, right. Um... Oh, friends, here. Really? <laughs> oh, watch the language. Huh? <laughs> friends, here. Not sure I understand, but show me. Take me to Riku and Kairi. Tarzan. Tarzan, go. And I'm Sora. Tarzan, go. Sora, go, go. Alright, folks, so this world here, well, I mean, I actually like the look of it, I, I like the art style of it, but this level really tends to drag a lot. This is Deep Jungle from Tarzan. Gosh, where are we? I sure hope Sora's okay. Well, uh, so I guess we'll just go ahead and uh, get uh, started with this one right here. So yeah, like I said, uh, Deep Jungle, um, like, it does tend to get very repetitive, and it kind of oversaves welcome a bit, which we'll probably see later. So, so we, we have this uh, little mechanic here that's um, that we are just now introduced to. Um, in some uh, worlds, uh, we actually uh, we will have uh, different party members, and usually it's uh, the uh, protagonists of the... Um, in, in the worlds of their own respective movie. So in this case, uh, we have uh, Tarzan who will be, uh, who will be joining us. And so, um, Tarzan, uh, well, uh, basically, uh, for his, for his kind of gameplay, uh, he's very much of a paladin, where he has the, um, where he's got these, uh, defensive buffs and the, uh, healing buffs as well, in addition to actually having some, uh, good, um, offensive, uh, attacks. Let's go ahead and jump down there, and now we're getting some, uh, some tree surfing action. Yay, tree surfing! So, um, so yeah, Tarzan, or, I mean, the, well, actually, I would say, uh, Deep Jungle, um, so... Enjoy this world while you still can, folks, because, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for actually, if you see, uh, when you start the game, uh, you'll actually see this, uh, copyright notice of, uh, Tarzan, um, you know, being, um, being on, or under the ownership of, you know, uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs, uh, which is the author of the original, uh, Tarzan books. Uh, see, this, this is actually gonna be the only time you'll ever see, uh, Tarzan as a world, because, um, because, ladies and gentlemen, after this game, then, uh, Tarzan becomes completely retconned, and, like, just completely wiped out of the existence of the face of the Earth. So, yeah, 
Uh, because of those uh, copyright issues, so they get completely, it gets completely retcon, and so uh, they make no mention of it. So yeah, enjoy while still can, folks. Might as well, right? So anyways, uh, so yeah, we're separated from uh, Donald and Goofy at this moment because Donald just decided to be a dick. Because we're just sort of leaving this world for dead, asshole. And we're gonna be, be uh, picking those, those uh, slides here. Oh yeah, let's uh, take a little uh, cameo look right here. See that? That is uh, Mrs. Potts from uh, from Beauty and the Beast. Uh, like I, I like how that she she made the cameo in the movie itself, but then they just brought over to this game as well. So that's actually a nice little attention to detail. And so, um, so to talk about uh, Tarzan a bit here, uh, Tarzan here in this game, he's voiced by uh, Tony Goldwyn, who is actually his uh, original voice actor from the movie itself. And uh, like, um, for we can tell right here, uh, since uh, Tarzan, uh, well, he has some uh, limited vocabulary because it's actually justified though, since you know he was uh, raised by uh, gorillas, and so um, so he can't really uh, speak very uh, much English though. Although it actually, it actually is a plot point in the movie itself though, so I mean, uh, they still have to make it a make it a thing here. I have to do that one check to make sure that I have all the slides here because we're gonna need to collect all six of those before we enter this tent here, which uh, we'll uh, hopefully uh, see somebody here. So let's uh, head right inside here to this tent. Jane! Tarzan! Oh, and who's this? Uh, hi there. I'm. Oh! You speak English. So then, obviously you're not related to Tarzan. Are you here to study the gorillas? Highly doubtful. Soro! Goofy! Donald! <laughs> A circus of clowns. Not much use for hunting gorillas. Mr. Clayton! We're studying them, not hunting them. This is research. Well, the more the merrier. Do make yourselves at home. Well, anyway, I'm, I'm saying... Huh? Sora, look what we found. Look at this. <laughs> oh! You know, I gotta say, uh, you know, th this this being a world where, like, there's a humans and then they uh, see all these animals, nobody, like, Jane doesn't even question or even bat an eye that, you know, there's a human teenager, like Sora, and he's hanging out with, uh, with freakishly mutated, uh, duck and dog that can also talk and behave like humans, and yet nobody actually questions, and as a matter of fact, this actually becomes a thing, that this is very much of a thing in the Kingdom Hearts franchise, where, like, there's these human settings and nobody questions a teenage boy hanging out, or a, a human teenager hanging out with, um, with an anthropomorphic talking duck and talking dog. I don't even know how, but, yeah, I'll just roll with it. So, um, so as you can see here, before you know, so the reason I'm actually uh, bringing uh, Donald and Goofy back into the party for, at the moment, since, uh, for one thing, I actually switch over the party members, is because, um, the, um, you're, in this game, and also for, in, a uh, cage 2, you're only limited to having, uh, two party members with you, or with you at this moment, sorry for that little, um, voice crack right there. And so, um, so because I can't really have more than three, although Kingdom Hearts 3 actually does fix this. And, uh, what we can see here, um, as long as you have, uh, like, uh, well, let's say, for instance, like these attorney marks I'm, that I'm about to, uh, talk about, um, if, uh, if you actually have, uh, a, a party member from the world, but not, like, either Donald or Goofy, uh, you can't activate those uh, training marks. Uh, you you you, had to, you actually had to have a Donald and Goofy with you to get them activated. Otherwise, uh, they uh, they actually won't work. So that's why I actually I uh, switched them out. And so whenever I see these training marks, I'm gonna have to switch over the characters. So that's why I did for now. And then uh, that's why I decided just to uh, switch back over to Tarzan. I'm actually gonna be having a Goofy and Tarzan with me because I decided to just leave out Donald because uh, fuck Donald. Well, because you know, and, and you know he's uh, not really useful in combat. But either way, fuck him because well he's an asshole. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave these here, or leave these things here. So next time on Let's Play Kingdom Hearts, we are going to explore more of a deep jungle, and um, I guess uh, hopefully uh, find uh, Riku and Kyrie. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. So until next time, see you guys later.